is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another special segment of the Sunday Business Page. Every Sunday during KDK's Sunday Morning News, you will hear from someone doing something interesting in the Pittsburgh community. Our special guest today is Stephen Christian Michaels, Chief Strategy Officer at Wesley Family Services. This month, Wesley is breaking ground on a new development in New Kensington called Pioneer Apartments. It's like one-stop shopping where individuals and families can have access to housing units, programs, and behavioral health services all in one location. Stephen, welcome to KDKA. Thank you. Let me first ask you about Wesley Family Services. What is Wesley Family Services? So Wesley uh, Family Services is actually the product of a merger between Family Services of Western Pennsylvania, since been around since 1885, and Wesley Spectrum. And we have a total of about 60 programs in behavioral health, intellectual disability, child welfare, and uh, community empowerment. All through Western Pennsylvania? Uh, we're in five, four counties, and we serve uh, additional residents in arms um, up in Butler and Beaver. And this particular new project called Pioneer Apartments is up in New Kensington. Yes. What's the concept here? So we have been in New Kensington since 1972, providing behavioral health services. And one of the services we provide is what we call supportive housing. And we have people living in just deplorable conditions. In one case, it's a bunch of uh, apartments on top of a, a bar. Mm. This is not a good combination uh, since behavioral health includes drug and alcohol. So um, we started this process four years ago to come up with affordable housing, but we also needed new offices. So we've created a co-located building uh, with the uh, low income housing tax credits and new market tax credits. So the idea is that you have an apartment complex or a building where folks can afford, I guess there's affordable housing mm -hmm. yep. for them, but at the same time you can provide them the health services they need. 125 staff we have, will have in that building. Wow, so it's like moving into a hospital almost. And then we will have one position two days a week that will be embedded supported housing in the apartments. And that person will also provide transportation to medical appointments, to shopping centers, and that will give us an opportunity to get to know people sure. because sometimes people don't want to come to behavioral health services. So, Stephen, how many people are in, will be able to be housed in this? So it'll be 36 apartments, one, two, and three bedrooms. Many apartments don't have three bedrooms, but we know there's a number of families that can't find appropriate housing. So you could house a number of people here we only have a few seconds left. If somebody is interested in this kind of arrangement, which sounds fabulous to me, how do they get involved? How do they get into this so they or can, apply? They can go to our webpage, wfspa.org, and then just do a search on Pioneer Apartments, and that'll come to the page that describes it, and they can indicate an interest in being on the list. Now, you're just doing the groundbreaking now. When do you hope to have this uh, complex up and running? This time next year. 2020. So it's not too early if somebody has an interest to get in touch with you with Wesley Family Services. To it's see. not an application. It's an interest list, and then we'll r remind people that it's time to fill in the application. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing. This is the kind of project we love to see here in southwestern Pennsylvania. Absolutely. Congratulations to you and Wesley for the work you're doing. Thank we you. appreciate it. Yes. And thank you all for joining us on this edition of the Sunday Business Page. If you have a suggestion for a guest, drop me an email at kdk.com. I'm John Delano. Have a great Sunday, everyone.